Gen Z, I believe is gonna be one of the greatest generations. And I'm gonna go through and tell you why in three different areas that I think if you pay attention to these three areas, you are gonna go on to become, uh, uh, you know, apart from some of your colleagues and some of your friends because you got it. It's one thing to be part of this generation, it's another to really grab it and, and run with it uh, to, to a future that you could have. So let's go through it real quick. Uh, I don't like long videos, so I'm gonna try to keep this under five minutes. Let's see what they can do. Generation Z, born between 1997 and 2012, that's you. Uh, so you were born during a time when uh, you were born and the internet was already going. So think about that, that's crazy. Uh, we, uh, we used to remember that we used to watch TV, there was three channels, and you got to turn the channel like this, that was all you had. We didn't have computers or calculators when I started out. Anyway, number one, economic pursuits for careers. Number one, I think you should really take a look at the gig economy and freelancing because that's going to place, be a place to learn skill sets, but also it's a lot of opportunity for some people that want a flexible schedule. <laughs> you really can do it with freelancing and you can make some money. It might be a side hustle, but it might become the hustle, your way, main way of making money. Don't overlook it. Gig economy right now, doing projects, doing this gigs, I guess, just like a band goes out and plays a gig. That's what you'd be doing with some of these things. So keep in mind, you got Fiverr, you got all these different ones out there, Upwork, a lot of them. Tech-centric careers are probably where you want to really look because tech is growing so fast and there's so much demand. AI, cybersecurity, data creation, data analysis, software development, all there. Guess what? You guys have an innate ability because you've been using this technology since you've been born. You've been working on technology, so you're far advanced than anybody else. Uh, gen, you know, millennials are behind you. You guys are right there. So I think AI is gonna be the big one. But anyway, there's a lot of good ones coming. Green economy, of course, you have a passion for that, but the green economy is gonna need a lot of people with some innovative ideas to get costs down. I'm all for green and climate, uh, you know, uh, preserving our, our environment uh, and preventing some climate change disasters. However, we need some better technology. We need some better tools. We need some more efficient ways of getting clean energy. You're gonna be the one to do that, I think. I think it's gonna be fantastic. Number uh, two, free enterprise opportunities. Don't overlook the chance to be your own boss and have your own company. Because think about some of the greats that come before you. <laughs> they, they started out in their garages and they had ideas and they were doing things and they said, hey, maybe, what if? So do that. Uh, E-commerce is probably gonna be the best place to look at if you wanna do free enterprise because you can sell just about anything right now and with the power of the internet, Think about how you can capitalize on that, uh, whether it be uh, leveraging social media, digital marketing, you guys already have that skill set. SaaS, software as service. Can there be a way that you can develop some software or apps with somebody else maybe who's good at that, uh, but you have the vision or you have the ideas? Software as service, huge. It's very financially lucrative, can be, and it might be something that goes uh, to be a repetitive ongoing income, which are the best kind, huh? right? Health and wellness. Staying healthy is very key for boom, uh, yeah, well it's key for a boomer like me trying to stay alive, but for you it seems like Generation Z is much more focused on taking themselves to have self-health care versus relying on sick care, which is medical or pharmaceuticals. They want to take care of themselves and stay healthy, so they tend to take care of themselves better. That's key. There's a whole market there too for, for uh, free enterprise. Content creation and influence marketing, huge brand uh, promotion, but also doing any influence marketing. The companies right now are looking for small influencers, not the big celebrities, so you're in a great position. Start looking at it, start digging into it. You can be getting free goods, but sometimes money for doing some content creation. Uh, I'm a big content creator. I'm not making huge dollars yet, but I'm creating a brand. And what you wanna think about is creating a brand, but also finding those niches, okay? So important. Here's some of the challenges on the, on the horizon for uh, Gen Z. Skill gap. Usually the skill gap is going to be in the area of communication, uh, leadership, uh, learning a lot of uh, stuff on organization, uh, learning about management, uh, soft skills, uh, industry specific knowledge. These is a gap that you're going to have to close and you're going to have to learn how to do that by getting around people who can tell you how to do that or read and really research. But developing your skills is so important. Uh, mental health and burnout is kind of a problem with, with boom, uh, yeah. Boomers, uh, I would say it's more of a problem with Gen Z uh, because the social media influence, but also just the digital bombardment that they put themselves under. You have to digitally detox in your life, starting now to maybe get some time away from the digital. Uh, 
digital detox and get away from it for a couple hours a day just to focus and think about where you're going. It's so important. Economic uncertainty, of course, that's always going to be there. It's been there through my life, but I think there might be more ups and downs now that you may face. So you got to be ready for them. So saving and investing, not spending all your money, making sure you got some, some reserves in case things go sideways, uh, but also in case things get slowed down, you got some money. Don't get a lot in debt either, please. That's crazy. Uh, climate crisis and social responsibility. Uh, they should, you should be mindful that things might come up there that you have to be ready to adapt as things change with, with social responsibility or with climate demands that people might start having. You better be ready to be nimble to move and navigate those waters. Uh, and the last thing is learning from Gen, uh, Gen X, yeah, learn from Gen X and baby boomers and maybe even millennials, but I'd say baby boomers have a place in that lineup of Gen X, Gen Y, uh, millennials, baby boomers. I think uh, you can learn from us, us OGs, <laughs> or uh, oh, oh, let's see, yeah, OGs, O oh, guys or O oh, girls. Uh, resilience, we've been through some crap. <laughs> Matter of fact, I think I've learned more from the crap I've been through than some of the good times that were mountaintops. I learned more from the valleys. I can tell you about some of those specifically, but also what to watch out for when you get in either one of those, because there's traps on both sides. Interpersonal skills, oh, so big, this is so important. Your skill set that you have talking with people uh, is so important, and that's probably gonna be the defining factor that separates you from a lot of other Gen Z is trying to achieve. Adaptability, you have to be able to be nimble. And I tell you what, the boomers have learned this. They learn their personal skills. They learn about adaptability. And now at my age, I'm trying to learn how to do software content creation and brand promotion. Guess what? That was a huge learning curve. But you gotta be adaptable. You're gonna have to be probably more adaptable than, than I am because you're gonna have more things coming at you faster. But that's a good thing, I think so. And the last thing is mentorship. Find somebody that's a boomer or millennial or a gen why that you really respect that's going where you want to go and say hey can i ask you some questions can i get a cup of coffee with you can i i got this i want to run by you that is so vital it's going to save you a lot of time and money so listen longer than i wanted but there's a lot of great content here so uh go to my, my website rxhealthyhabits.com check out some of my blogs all this information is in there and i want you to think about becoming uh, a person in the gen z category that's going to step out and step up you can do it. I believe in you. Take care. God bless.